All right, so now that we have a top network inside of a HDA, let's bring it into Unity and learn a little bit about using the asset link for PDG and Unity Houdini Engine. All right, so let's go and get rid of this evergreen in here. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to go and expand my project folder here and pop open my HDA folder. So I'm going to say, or I'm going to right click on it and say show in Explorer there. And that will open up that location of that folder so I can jump inside. And I've gone ahead and opened up the HDA folder in my Houdini project so I can get access to the landscape HDA that we are creating. So I'm just going to highlight it or select it and then copy it and paste it into my Unity project here. All right, that way we get it into Unity. Awesome, so there we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, drag and drop that into the scene here. All right, so you can see now we have our properties all set up over here. And for some reason, that guy's not uh, wanting to expand properly. So let me go back to Houdini over here and take a look. That is definitely pretty odd. So we'll take care of that here in just a little bit. Oh, there we go. They wanted me just to click on the outside there. Yeah, weird that the arrow's not working. Cool. So now we can go and set the working directory for PDG. Cool. So what we need to do when we're working with a top network inside of the Houdini engine for Unity, all right, we need to go and create a special type of asset. So you have to go and select the HDA that has the top network in it first. Go up to the Houdini engine menu, then come down to PDG and say create PDG asset link. And what that does is it links the Houdini Engine and PDG and Unity and gets them all working together. It also exposes, this is why I wanted to create the My Wedge node, it also exposes all the top nodes that are inside of your top network. Super cool. Now this tool is very, very useful and very powerful when it comes to working with PDG. In fact, it's really the only way to interact with PDG when you're working inside of Unity here. Okay, and so we'll walk through all of these different options and buttons and stuff like that and all these info displays as we basically encounter them and need them for our project while we're developing our train. All right. One thing I should also point out is you can have multiple top networks inside of your HDAs. Currently, I just have one, but this allows you to swap between whichever other top network you have in your um, HDA that you're developing. All right, so super powerful. Basically allows you to manage, you know, from a really high level, your entire pipelines. Okay, so with that, we now have the asset link up and running. We have our HDA. We're good to go. So I'm going to close out this section. And in the next section, what we're going to do is make a really basic PDG terrain. All right, thanks so much.